The Battlefield Fire Protection District is testing out some new equipment. Chris Bryant gives us a look at the life-saving gear and how it's being paid for. Voters approved a tax levy increase for the Battlefield Fire Protection District. Now with that money, the district is looking at replacing these. They're self-contained breathing apparatus equipment. Standard changes, so when the standard changes, uh, we, we evaluate those changes in the standard and determine whether or not we need to make a, an update or an upgrade. In this instance, um, we're far enough behind on the standard changes. Uh, that a, a complete fleet redo um, is warranted. The tanks are what firefighters wear when fighting a fire, helping them breathe clean air. The current tanks used by the district were purchased with grant money in the early 2000s. Air packs today, just like anything else, are different than they were when we first started this. And uh, so the features that they have, the ergonomics to them, the safety features that they that they currently have are much different even than 10 or 12 years ago. So right now, the district has 45 air packs being used by the firefighters. The packs are shared among fire crews on different shifts, and each seat in a fire truck has an air pack. To change over an entire fleet of them um, is several hundreds of thousands of dollars. So. Uh, the organization is currently researching um, the most effective and efficient air pack that we possibly can utilize uh, to get the job done and, and, and be able to provide the, the highest level of care for our citizens. In order to fully put the packs through the paces, the fire district has been getting hands-on experience in the classroom and then strapping them on to wear in training situations to see how they act in real-world simulations. It allows us to see the features and, and actually utilize them in our training facilities that we have, uh, put them to work and put them to use. Uh, but two, they're going to be the ones wearing them. And uh, so they need to be comfortable with how they work, how they function, what the features are that allow them to do their job. Now these MSA tanks that the district is looking at has a 45 minute air supply capacity when fully charged. In Battlefield, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.